Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit and I want to welcome you in the year 2018. Thank you so much for popping in and I want to say big hello to returning viewer. Thank you so much that you're here with me and enjoying my little uh, videos and for whoever is new, hello! <laughs> I hope you like it. This podcast is a chit chat about um, yarn, knitting and life general, let's say it that way. If you would want to see what I'm up to, the best place to say hi to me and comment it's be here on the YouTube channel obviously under the video and uh, that's the first thing for sure the second thing will be Instagram I'm on it all the time I just love photos and I love to see what you're up to what you're knitting what kind of hats people have sweaters and so on and so on I'm an addict <laughs> let's face it the best thing in 2018 to what's the word What's the word? Recognize your flaws. That's my flaw, I would say. Yes. What else am I up to? My dream came true. I have a little online shop. You can pop it in and check what I have over there. It's called knittingilove.com. What I have over there, I have my pouches, my coasters, my tote bags, my keychains, my tags that you can sew to your hats, your projects. And at the end of 2018, I have also some Higher, higher, sharps, needles, and to be more and to be more precise is uh, tips and cords. Don't forget on YouTube channel under this video you can find a times, time stamps, which means that you can skip to anything you would want to hear. Um, what I have in my agenda, I'm thinking I'll tell you about Cal. I will tell you about um, in the jar section. I'll tell you what what's on my needles. I'll tell you what's off my needles. Um, that would be a long one. <laughs> and now, cows. I'm hosting Knit a Hat Cal. I will continue that in 2018. The idea is to read certain number of a finished object. It's in the thread on Ravelry.com. How many FOs we have at the moment? Today is the 5th of January. And at the moment we have 559 finished objects, so soon we're going to reach 600. Can't wait, and now my internet goes slow, so I need to go on my mobile. Now, the price for 600 um, finished objects will be one of my pouches, one of my pouches, one of my patterns, and a project bag. And this bag. Handmade bags by Diane. It's a lovely string bag. I call it two in one. And such a cute insight. Okay, so that's that. Let's move on. In the jar section, I haven't recorded podcast in December, but I haven't pulled out anyone from the jar uh, for December. So I'm going to do that now. But first I'm going to add three podcasters, which I follow and somehow they did not enter into the jar. So the first one is, you need to believe me, first one is Gabby from Once Upon a Cargi podcast. So I'm folding it down. Then I'm adding Lily from Nordic Stitches. I watch her all logbooks and I'm actually working on her pattern. Then we go with Christy Glass. Christy, you haven't seen her? I love her channel because it's quite similar to mine. She's putting some short videos about her finished objects, stuff like that. And she has interviews with other podcasters. In. Shake a bit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a winner for December. Which basically means that the um, podcaster can go on my sh in my shop, check what I have, and then send me information on Instagram or an email on Reverly and write it down what would they want to receive. And what I'm going to do normally, I'm going to do a similar kind of a set for the lucky viewer um, and I'm sending that to them. Yes, and uh, the last, in November, the last winner was Jen Sheelan. 
and here on the screen maybe I'll show what she picked and I've sent it to her now although I had a big delay sending it so <laughs> I apologize for that check Jensen's podcast okay who's going to be December 2018 okay I have something Anders Mill Knits Emily. This is her. Do you see it? Let's add a thing for me. So, congratulations, Emily. You won something from my shop, so check it out. Uh, normally, I give a pouch, something extra. I have keychains, I have some tags. Let me know what you want to receive, and I hope you're going to get in touch with me. If you haven't seen Emily's podcast, go check it out. And uh, Congratulations! Right, let's go with things what's on my needles, what's on my chest. I have two things, well I have more things which are under the table now so I'm going to see what's in them um, because I started knitting and I stopped. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, so the two, th two things, well I work on other things but I finished them so I'm going to move them into um, what's off my needles. Uh, so what's on my needles? Let's start with the thing that I cast it on and I still have it on my needles Which is in this lovely bag handmade bags by Diane spoil me rotten <laughs> That'll be editing now And what do I have over here? Is it a frozen mystery cow? But it's not a mystery anymore It was during December and because we have January I hope I can tell you what it is this pattern is the design by Lily from Nordic Stitches podcast. Check it out. Amazing vlog, amazing scenery during the December, snow everywhere. I'm jealous. Move on. <laughs> Maybe before I show you this bundle, I'll show you yarn that I'm using. I received amazing gift from Grace from Bubbles Traveling Yarns podcast. And as you may notice, uh, she visited me in my lovely little studio and uh, we recorded two videos together, two tags. One was what, what was what's in Arrow Bags, um, which is on her channel. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And on my channel, you can find a uh, winter tag, which we had um, where we answered 20 questions or something like that. Anyway, I'll leave the link down below to the video. Here is Amazing Yarn. I have two colors and I do not know their names at all. <laughs> and here, wait, okay, here on the screen you can see label Bubbles Yarns. So check it out. And again on the screen now you have all information about, um, and here on the screen you have all the information like Hand Dyed in Ireland by Grace O'Neill. Colors may bleed, obviously, because it's a hand dyed. We have hashtag Bubbles Yarns, Etsy, and Instagram. And the yarn base here is Bless Your Cotton Socks. Colorway, unfortunately, as you can see, I don't have written down. And we have 50% wool superwash, and then 25% cotton and 25% nylon. Interesting. Uh, I hope I'm going to have some leftovers and uh, we'll see if I can knit a pair of socks. Like, you know, mini. We shall see, we shall see, because I think the shawl is quite big and um, so I did not use it for sock, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought because it's uh, dyed by Grace, I wanted to make something special, something that I can put up around this area that everyone can see. <laughs> pattern. What I can say about pattern, I love pattern because it's charted and I received also a beautiful gift, which I probably put over here, I haven't used it yet, which is this tape. <laughs> Instead of highlighters, instead of highlighters, I haven't had a chance to use it because I moved on to because I moved on to a different um, project because I wanted to finish my cardi and I did finish it. So what do we have over here? As you can see, we have a bundle of joy. <laughs> so first things first, maybe my pouch. This is my Silent Forest pouch, blue color because I thought with the frost, with the winter, with the mystery, would well, suit very good. Uh, the needles are used. I think I use slightly smaller needles. The pattern tells you patterns I think tells you to use 3.5 millimeters, but because I was using I have the only set um, 
I had, well, anyway, uh, on my sweater that I was knitting, I found, I think, 3.25 millimeters, so slightly smaller size, which I think, which is also good, my shawl will not be so big, and then I may have more leftovers. So I'm on the, I finished clue one, and I'm a, on the clue two, and I'm so proud of myself because, as you can see, this is a lace pattern, and I did not put any lifelines or anything like that. And um, basically, I had to read my stitches. Or, yeah, that's how we say it, yeah. Read my stitches on my needles in case I forgot yarn over or something like that. I knew I'm off and straight away I had to kind of fix it. And I was so proud of myself until I had a thought that what in case all my stitches will kind of slide off my needle. <laughs> well, it hasn't, it hasn't happened, um, but it's quite, um, it's quite an interesting blend, let's say it that way. It, it, it doesn't have a silk, but, but it has a cotton. So that gives you kind of a mixed feeling about it. You won't say it is wool, but you won't say it's cotton. It's so weird, but, yeah, it's perfect for shawls. I wouldn't say it's for socks. I would not mind to knit another um, shawl with this yarn. So don't be mislead. <laughs> don't be misleaded. Look at that lace. Beautiful. And I'm in this section. I know you won't be able to see it because of the speckles of the yarn. Beautiful. Now, I can tell you more, and it's paid for patterns, so check rapidly, check Nordic Stitches, uh, Lily's pattern, she has more patterns over there, so you can check it out. I love her hats too, obviously, and she has some color work hats, I haven't done color work hat for a while, well, I had, I made maybe two, my own kind of designs, and I love them, I would want to make them again, and maybe rewrite patterns. I don't think I actually, I had them on the website or I had them on the web. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm still have a big queue in regards to writing patterns and posting on Ravelry and I'll tell you about it in a while. <laughs> Hopefully I won't forget. So this is something I will be working on now in January, definitely. Not as a project that I need to finish. It's kind of project that I will enjoy. More I'll take it for frustration like Lily's Vlogmas, a bit here and a bit there. Because I'm not really pushed to have it finished, let's say it that way. But I enjoy having it on my needles. Another one, socks. I have over here socks, I kinda put it into um, a green sensation. I do not own a Christmas bag or anything like that yet. <laughs> uh, we may change that in the future. And what I have over, but look at this, look at this, love it. Uh, so what I have over here, I have a special, very hard, well, you know, from a frozen mystery cal, it's also a very heartwarming knitting project because I'm watching Lily and um, I know she designed it and um, I don't know, I don't know, there's a sparkle there anyway, let's say it that way. With this one is too. I have been watching Baker Bears for a while, I would say even a year now, and I love that couple. You have to watch it if you haven't. I'll try to leave links down below. Uh, and if I forgot, just please let me know and I will add it to the, you know, the bar down below. They're uh, lovely, and not only they're lovely, they have amazing podcasts. Uh, they have a section, they, they come up with ideas, uh, they take, take you to different places, and so on and so on. I maybe will take you to this, uh, certain places, but I will split it. I will kind of have a short videos here, here and there, like vlogs or trips, or show you camping sites, um, however they put it all as one thing. So um, I'm a patron now, uh, it costs me a cup of tea per month, let's say it that way, or maybe a coffee, no, coffees sometimes are more expensive. <laughs> so let's say a tea, something between tea and coffee. Um, and I received a pattern, or everyone who, uh, who was a patron, or probably now is a patron, you can go back and uh, get it yourself too. Oh, sugar, I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> oh, good me a sec. All is calm. That's the name. Uh, so I started knitting it. I cast it on on Christmas 
Eve, and because my Christmas Eve is quite busy, if you want to know how the 24th of December looks like ish, go check out my vlogmas. You will see what's 24th, 25th, because I'm kind of adding things in there. I forgot on the 24th to tell you, I'm adding it to the 25th. Um, so you can see, I actually cast on maybe did four rows, and that was it. So here it is, it's a lovely pattern. I'm thinking to do something special with it. I'll tell you in a sec. And this is my special Knitting I Love Pouch Christmas edition, um, because to make it special. And another special thing over here, well, I have a few more in my sleeve, so wait, is needles I'm using. I'm using for the first time, can you see it? I'm using for the first time interchangeable Haya Haya Sharps. Um, you could see, notice that the cord is pink, which kind of, well, pink, lavender, I would say, which kind of goes with the color of the yarn. Amazing! And what amazing about that, and actually you can get it in my shop, so you can need to get a tips and you can you need to get a cord. Um, obviously there is a, obviously there is a screw that you tie, it's a screw system to tie the tip to the cord cord but the cord itself has that end and that end moves so the whole needle moves so I don't have it twisted or anything like that I love it I have my other Hi Hi Sharps uh, fixed needles uh, do you want to see it here they are as you can see they're blue color and um, I actually start casting on these socks on this needles but I receive a package my order Photoshop and I had to grab this one. So that's the difference in regards to interchangeables. The cords have three types. You have sock, which is this one. So this tiny ones. It tells you on the photo and even in the description what kind of tips it will fit, the ends will fit. And then we have large and small. So here there are. Normally the pattern runs through the calf and a top part of your foot. And I'm thinking to do it only for the, what you call it? Only for the cuff. But I don't know, I have fun with it and I want to stop. But then I was thinking how it's going to look if I have just the top, even of the cuff with the pattern and then the sock and stitch, go through the heel and then go through the foot. I'm tempted to do that too. But anyway, I have this pattern and I may kind of do a modification of it in my future socks. We shall see how it goes. Uh, at the moment, I'm really enjoying it. After first kind of repeat, it's a six rows repeat. I kind of memorized that straight away. It, it, it's so, I wouldn't say simple, but it's so intuitive. And I don't know, I don't know, how did that happen? Normally it takes me like three repetitions of something. And then when you think about six rows, how on earth are you going to remember that? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you will. <laughs> uh, right, another special thing about this project is yarn. And a kind of heartwarming thing about knitting, and especially that when you received a gift, and I received this gift from my viewer and my friend, CJ, and ah, look what I got. When I got it, I knew what I'm going to knit. <laughs> And this is something that I like a lot. And if you watched my last podcast, if I do something for the first time, and I know we're adults, well, most of us, hopefully, uh, we've done loads of stuff. But there's still things that we haven't done. And this is something like feeling, again, like a three or, well, maybe not three, but let's say like seven-year-old who is like doing something for the first time and is so excited about it. Like, that's how I feel. So basically, this is the first time I'm knitting with Baker Bear's yarn. Hello! And it's the first time ever I'm um, actually knitting socks with a hand-dyed yarn. Through all my podcasts, you may notice that I've knitted socks, but only with commercial yarn, because... One, is cheaper. Second, if I do something with socks, and with the socks, you know, you can accidentally put them into washing machine and that's that. Uh, so I would not want to risk this. However, we have Superwash over here, so I'm kind of aware that in case I messed up, hopefully nothing will happen. On the screen now, on the screen now you can see the base, you can see the colors, uh, what name, it is 75% um, Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. Merino! 
it's not wool, it's merino. So I would actually knit a sock with it, but that's what I was thinking. Maybe I short them a little bit, uh, you know, not such a long calf. So maybe at this stage, I would just go like, you know, one inch on the stockinette stitch and then go with the heel. I may have some leftovers and maybe do something with it, like a handband. It's too bright for me. I don't know. A mermaid's tail. Yeah. That kind of memorized me that I swam like for seven years competitively and I kind of stopped and this year maybe I would want to go back and swim, swim a bit. Not competitively, just to, you know, enjoy the water and feel like a mermaid because that's how I felt when I was a kid and I was starting swimming. But now, oi, it's like... If you've ever been a child that uh, did something competitively or even were in a club and you have that feeling when you were, I don't know, run one lap or swam something and you felt, yeah, that's a piece of cake. That's a piece of cake. And now I'm like, what the heck happened to me? <laughs> so it's not kind of a refreshing thing doing something for the first time, seeing that you develop, that you like in knitting, you're gaining new skills, uh, you're learning something new, you're touching something for the first time, um, you're exchanging gifts that I've never done before with someone that I've never met in person, which is amazing. Yeah, going and doing something that I loved as a kid, but there is, um, you know, that competitive label on me, um, it's kind of puts me down a bit. So I want to change that. Maybe on about New Year's resolution, I will tell you more at the end of the podcast if you're interested. Um, check time timestamps. Uh, maybe not. I won't tell you exactly what I have, but I will. Anyway, I'll tell you something because I'm a nerd. <laughs> That's what my husband said to me anyway. <laughs> and as a compliment, he likes that about me anyway. What I can say, a special project. Again, what I can add it to you, if you're a patron, you can kind of add your uh, knitting project to um, Case and Dance Cow. Uh, now they have, I think it's called Climb, Climb Mountains Run hashtag. Anyway, I write down the hashtag over here, whatever that I need to be, I need to learn it now. It used to was Fog Run 2017, and now it's a Climb Mountains, I think, run. Or something like that. Um, so basically, if you want to be a walker runner, you can join Runkeeper. You don't have to be a patron. Whoever wants to be involved can be involved. You just um, give Dan's your email that you use when you register to Runkeeper. Runkeeper is a free app. Registration is free. Uh, using it's for free. <laughs> so nothing about that. If you don't have a smartphone, you can do it on your on your uh, computer, and you can add your even workouts manually. Sometimes I have to do it because now I walk in the in the leisure center, in the rounds, and that doesn't really count properly, so I just time myself in one lap, and without counting laps, because I would not want to do it, I listen books, something new this year. And then I divide the time that I've done with the time of one lap, and that's kinda, kinda ish. Um, so yeah, I encourage you to go out and do something for 30 minutes, that's my goal, I don't go walk, uh, I would love to, once I start walking, I'm like, I don't want to finish it, I want to do it for more, but basically I just want to do it for 35 minutes max, and that's that, you know. Anyway, it was about what I'm, <laughs> what's on my needles, I'm sorry. Rumbling and mumbling, and there will be for me. <laughs> now, something is in this bag, and because, something is in this bag, and in this bag, I know what it is. Um, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a toy, it's a penguin. So I want to finish this. I uh, have a book, and normally when I have a book um, about knitting, or any book that is a skill one, or I don't want to just have it, I just want to do something with it. That's basically how I started knitting. I received a knitting book, and there were socks over there, and I started with socks, and my mom just grabbed her head and was like, are you crazy? You should do scar, or something easy. Yeah, but I did socks. I showed you this bag, I hope it recorded. <laughs> and I have this, colors, Tamiwi colors. I received it from her when I um, got some dyes, because I want to dye some yarn. <laughs> and I want to dye some yarn for the, the last four months, I think. So I really apologize for this. And I actually started, <laughs> as you can see, this. This is Silent Forest Knitting I Love pouch. Cafe chocolate color 
and I have something on it, but it's meant to match with the shawl that she designed, which is beautiful and a beautiful model, so you would love it, and I would love to have this pattern, by the way. Have you, re have you written it yet? <laughs> Um, so I don't know, I don't know, I can't design until I actually knit the shawl, <laughs> I think. And I would love to because I have like here a four or five year old that would enjoy a shawl like that. I'm telling you, I'm working on it. I have four rows. Yeah. In a lovely bag, handmade bags by then. What's in here? This is a bag by Lone Larch. A podcaster, Jenny. Yeah, good. Yeah, you see this? Lon Larch. That's how you spell it. Um, podcast. And what I have over here, I don't have, I have just yarn and some other yarn. I don't know why I have it here. But anyway, the main thing is those three. I have knitted a shawl, amazing shawl that I adore. So close shawl by uh, Vicky. Zahanovich, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, so what do we have over here? We have some leftovers and I want to knit hat with it. So we have Malabrigo here. We have a homespun house here. I actually I actually added it to the shawl, but also I knitted a full uh, hat with it, which is called In the Park Hat. It's a free pattern, so check it out. Maybe on the screen now I'm going to show you that. Um, and then I have this one. This is Canadian yarn. I received this yarn by my lovely Canadian friend, Dan. <laughs> Spoiling me rotten. I'm, I feel so bad because I always forget. So on the screen now you can see it's color mer. It's probably French. Monton Color. Okay, color montons. Okay, you're laughing now. Aren't you? I know you're laughing. First I thought the color name is Tris. But I think it's Iris. <laughs> So, I would love to knit a hat with it. Will it happen? I don't have a clue. Another bag. And I think we have a hat inside. Oh yeah. <laughs> I started knitting it when we were going to Dublin. <laughs> and this is a yarn. Look at this. I got from Knit Great Boxes on the screen. Lorna Lace, I think that's how we call it. Uh, the color is Lookbook. That's what I can tell you. And it's 100% blue face lace. La <laughs> I always said it wrong. Laster wool. Laster. Someone said that to me how to say it, and I still can't do it. I still can't do it. That I had a lesson yesterday from my lovely staff. <laughs> Hello. You're not watching. <laughs> So what I have over here, I have my old needles, so definitely I'm going to change that for high highs because I have high highs now. Uh, interchangeable, sharp, right. And I have over here, I think I just cast on. I just cast on and I have, I think, one row. And as you can see, this pouch looks different because it's the tower pouch, because we have a tower over here. Uh, and this actually pouch is designed, well, you can use it as for knitting as I do, but also you can use it for your notebooks. And by notebooks, I mean these things. Can you see it? Yeah. So I actually, you know, well, let's take this moment and uh, admire my notebook for 2018. It is on the screen, the name, because now I, I can say it. <laughs> Loc Loc Tron something and I'm still using my old one because I'm moving it to the new one and here it is. So in regards pouches there have a connection with the Harry Potter because you can see Slipheter in over here, half half of puffs over here maybe and I have also burgundy so and um, a navy color but from this year like I'm Slytherin according to the test I've done before actually finishing reading books. Uh, but I thought I'm going with the yellow one. Um, if you check the tags, do I have any tags over here? Each of them represent um, things, <laughs> represent something. This is intelligence. And I thought I want to be smarter in 2018. Who wouldn't? <laughs> um, so I'm thinking, and it looks lovely in the, with that gold shiny thing over here. But as you can see, you can use it also as a, as a pouch for your knitting. Right, so I need to crack on this too. Probably some trip, trip hat. I have my last bag, 
Mr. Ba Miss Mrs. Brown's bag. So you probably know who that is. Say hi to Jody and Tracy from um, Grocery Girls podcast. And I have over here a hat that I'm designing. I stopped. <laughs> so first things first, yarn. I'm using yarn from so Green Elephant hand dyed yarns. And I'm using a mini because I got a mini a mini set and I got um, a skein of yarn. And again, I need to swap needles. So over here you have my Cafe Chocolate. Oh, and um, Knitting I Love Markers, a hat, all felt. And here is my pattern. You have a sneak peek. <sighs> so I want to do something on the top because I love my Asphodel Potion hat. I love that flowery top. And I'm thinking to kind of spice things up over here. Although I forgot about it. So um, it's going to be my refresher. Maybe in February. Or maybe at the end of January. I don't know what I find time. But because the yarn was amazing, I had to do some stocking and stitch. <laughs> to just see colors. Because they're amazing. Okay, so that's all what I have on my needles. Or I want to have my needles. Well, there's more things that I want to have my needles probably, but let's leave it like that. Tell me what you're knitting, what's on your needles, and um, what would you want to knit in 2018? You can leave link. You can leave the names down below. If you could only knit, let's say, one thing in the whole year, what would that be? Ha ha. Okay, what's off my chest? What's off my needles? Okay. So the way I'm doing it, I'm going to t go through the videos. Now, I'm going through the videos that I uh, kind of put it up on YouTube channel. So if you're here for the first time and you haven't seen them, you just basically go back to my main videos and you'll see them. <laughs> right, so after a podcast, uh, what I did, I finished my bulky chunky hat. And here is a photo. I definitely have a photo. Uh, and you were asking me to write down the pattern about it. Do you know what? I'm going to knit so many hats in the future, I'll knit you something nice. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure would I be able to recreate it because I do not have the same yarn and uh, I just want to knit something else. <laughs> Sorry. But I enjoyed it so much. I wore it. It kind of, it's kind of tight. It gives, uh, I, I was looking for a perfect, let's say, a base yarn for a hat that I would want to knit and share with you because I got so many um messages that the people has never knitted hats or they never knitted hats on circular needles and i can understand that it's not very popular in ireland to knit on circular needles at all uh so and in poland the same i had to kind of force my mom to knit a hat on circulars and believe me it was like teaching a three-year-old <laughs> who would want to do something else than this uh, but once she did a few rows it was like oh Oh, it's so easy. <laughs> yeah, it is. I told you. <laughs> so anyway, um, so stay with me. I, I know you love this hat, but I'll make something better for you. Then we have a vlog. We went for a trip. We went out. We took our skikes. If you don't know what the skike is, it's like um, a, a mixture of uh, cross country skiing with uh, uh with rollerblading but what i love about it because i was a competitive swimmer and i was a kid i wasn't allowed to do anything that could break anything <laughs> with hands or legs or anything like that these have brakes so i can slow it down i can treat it like a bike I just press it slightly less and uh, it's a trick to do it so i can basically go down the hill as slow as i want it doesn't matter how steep the, the hill is. And also I have reverse locks in my first front wheels. So if I stop aiming the heel, I will not roll back. <laughs> so I love it. It's something for me. Um, and you can take it for any terrain. And especially over here in the country roads I live. In the country road. If you don't know what country road I live, uh, just go through my vlogs. And you'll see it. I'm showing you. Um, and they're kind of differently made than in Poland. In Poland, everything has to be, you know, CD. Let's call it that way. Although the quality of roads, sometimes they're bumpy. Over here, because of the rain, um, the roads are very... The texture of the roads um, is very sharp. And they're kind of shaped this way so the water goes straight away down so it's not the perfect thing for even 
uh, racing bikes or any rollerblades, like a standard ones, because <laughs> you will feel something like this. <laughs> With these, because uh, Skikes, they have um, inflatable tires. Um, yeah, you don't feel it that way. You feel like on a, on a normal mountain bike. Um, yeah. Right. I know Seth have some, uh, he was selling them, I think, a year ago. We still have something in stock, so probably he would want to go back to selling them this year. So keep fingers crossed. If you're interested, le uh, let me know and I will help you with that. Next, i show you how I make a button pom-pom. Uh, and I've done it. It's, I'm happy to do it with a fingering weight yarn, uh, hat, sorry, to attach it to a fingering weight hat. Uh, but I've noticed with the bulky hat that, you know, those spaces are very big. So I would go with the uh, elastic band or any loop that goes out from your pom-pom and then tidy up with a string of yarn. I'll show you with the Just Knit hat in the future how I do it. So keep on watching. Subscribe. Next, I started my vlog. So it's my first vlog and um, here it is. I hope I am showing you a photo. And uh, yeah, those kind of awkward moments saying hi in my everyday life when I'm on my own. <laughs> and then it was an amazing thing that uh, Grace showed up. So over here in the screen, you can see a tag. We did winter winter tag, answer some questions and you loved it. So thank you so much for joining us and having a lovely time with us. And I hope you were answering in your head. Then I finished some gift knittings. Uh, all my gift knittings were received with open heart and they, and people enjoy them. Let's say it that way. I was really, once one gift, I was really surprised that someone really likes it. Um, so I'm happy with that too. And it's a clover socks. Um, I can tell you now, I think these socks I knitted or for my dad or for my brother. So I can tell you now. Um, my dad loves it. I haven't heard anything from my brother yet. So keep finger crossed. Then I finished two hats, which was also a gift knitting. I didn't tell you for who I was knitting it, but I can tell you now. It's a turkey wing hat. I mixed two names of two colorways because they're two different brand um, yarns that I used. Check the video. And I gave, gave it to uh, my family anyway. One was for a dad and a son, let's say it that way. Then I did my vlog number two. I was telling you some stuff about my hat editing, notebooks, how I edit videos, how I how I do it. So I show you over there um, what kind of where from where I take music, how everything goes, just in case you're interested. And I'm making dessert <laughs> too. And then I'm opening a box which was Knit Brain November. <clears throat> and I was so into it that I actually cast it on almost straight away. I don't think I put on the video, but. In a, in a while you see the finished object. I knitted that hat and I love it. And I love the blend of the yarn, it's very interesting. So moving on the unboxing from Knitgrade, although I need to mention that, check their uh, website, check their Instagram. Uh, they gave me a, a code, as I'm telling you all the time about it, probably you sick of it, it's KIL20 to receive 20% off for your first box. Uh, so you can use it and uh, they have now the free shipping thing. So whatever prices you see, that's the only thing you're going to pay. And um, yeah, I'm getting now an integrate membership uh, boxes, which means I'll be receiving two skeins with a pattern. Um, nothing fun related thing, which is very cool too. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> and then I was thinking that I'll share what I'm eating because you really liked what the vlog was when I showed you how I make bread and stuff like that. I know you're asking me to actually create a video how to, I make my bread, but I really don't feel like a cook. So in this video, for instance, pickles and onion, I'm just showing you a product, which basically is a um, a jar of pickles <laughs> and I'm me uh, mixing over here with just onions and something that I like to eat <laughs> something simple I know I'm not a cook do you want more videos like that <laughs> then oh my god there was an Instagram um Justyna Lorkowska a very famous Polish designer uh, she designed amazing hat that I just had to have it and normally I've noticed just uh, bear with me it may be not right or I'm completely lying to you, but check her Instagram profile because anytime she kind of posts a new pattern, she writes down a discount code. 
but you have to go on that photo on Instagram and scroll a bit. Uh, I'm not saying she does it every time, but I think she did that with this hat and some other pattern that I've noticed. Um, so check it out. She is an amazing designer. I don't know how she comes up with all those stuff. Um, yeah, and then sometimes she comes to Dublin, which I missed, basically. And I may visit. That's maybe my resolution for 2018, to be more open, <laughs> to go and socialize with people, right? That's the word. Right, anyway, so then I have another finished object video and this is Phone Had by Beata Kaptur and it was the pattern included in that unboxing thing that I've done a few videos ago. And this is another Polish designer, someone completely brand new. I heard about her from that box actually. And I wasn't sure even on the unboxing video, should I say Kaptur or should I say Capture? Because I wasn't sure was she Polish or not. Because Beata, whatever, Beata in Polish, um, I mixed one with the Hedgehog Fibers. I thought that Beata from Hedgehog Fibers, she's Polish, but she's not. <laughs> she's, I think, Czech. Anyway, so I had a boo-boo over there, guys, when I was visiting her. Yeah, and uh, and then I start doing my vlogmas, so you can check it out. I mix vlogmas with my walking kind of challenge. First of all, for the first three, four days, I was thinking, okay, I will record that and it'll be day five. I failed. But somehow I manage it to walk every day for 30 minutes minimum. And uh, to be honest, it kind of pushed me because around the day fourth and fifth, I had kind of a situation should I do it? Really? I could knit. I could update my shop because I completely left the shop, um, you know, not updating anything. Whatever you could grab from my shop was in my shop. And I'm kind of updating it now. So follow me on Instagram if you want to see that. But around day four and fifth, um, Ilzi from Share My Passion, she joined me and I had a blast. I think she she lives in Bulga Bulgaria, I hope I'm saying that right, and I think there is a time difference. So basically when I was walking up, she was already doing her walk and she had a daylight and su snow and stuff like that, and I was like, sugar, she did it. <laughs> so, so yeah, we kind of continued that in January too, so hey, and, and on 31st, I did a special uh, thing that I did an extra mile for her, uh, just as saying thank you. So if you would want to join um, walking, which I actually mix it with dance in case now, I think it says hashtag again, uh, climb mountains run. Um, when I'm wearing something knitted, so I'm adding a hashtag knitwear walks because, you know, why this hashtag? It's not that I have to actually wear a knitted garment or you have to be a knitter to walk and do that. It's more about that, you know, we have that um, ideal thing, well, ideal, what you call it. We sometimes live in a box and see as a knitter someone who's just stays home, does not go out and just knits. Uh, and I'm not a person like that. If you follow my my channel, you will know that I like to do things and I love to go out and I knit actually when I find a free moment, like in the car when we're driving somewhere. And um, so you can be creative in the, even though you're active in your life. So, and I know people like that too. They may not have the time to record a video and, and share that with you so often, or they may not even share it on Instagram, but they do that and they're amazing. Uh, better than me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, so if you walk and you would want to just use the hashtag knitwear walks, uh, now with new Instagram you have follow hashtags and I'm following that hashtag so we should see how that works because I don't know actually how it works, how I'm going to see those things, but I go there and from time to time and check it. Definitely I go more offer on mine, uh, hashtag knitting I love. So if you want to share anything with me, just do hashtag knitting I love, even if you cook something or you read a book. <laughs> Just, yeah, uh, recommendation for new books in 2018. Leave down below or hashtag me. Better than use the hashtag than tag because I see the tag for a split of the second, let's call it that way, just once I browse it through and then I don't see it. So hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Let's move on. We have another thing about Buddha related and this time a tease that I found. I was a fan of the Puka um, tease and it was so funny because in the Berker Bears podcast, I think the last one in 2018, they were as a punishment for drinking uh, Puka tea. And I'm a fan of herbal teas, but um, it was kind of a stage that um, I started drinking them, the Puka teas, 
and I was looking for something new and eventually I found that in the Polish shops you can get some teas. I haven't made a video yet about them but maybe I'll do. You can actually see herbs and you can mix them yourself and you can mix them the way you kind of like them. Uh, mostly with Bucca teas they will put hibiscus in there, some like ginger, very kind of harsh, like sometimes strong and very... I don't know how I say it. They're bitter. I'm not really a fan of them anymore. I'm not buying them, but I found another mixture and I probably will be putting that now in any box. <laughs> any exchange gifts thing. Uh, these ones, which is called Joam, Joam Niha. Her anyway, so Joam Niha and there is like five um, boxes, but I found the one kind of bitter. So I would not recommend that one. Uh, just in case you're thinking which one is it, is the, same, is the one that it says it's from, uh, I think, cholesterol. I don't like that one. It's not about what it says over there, it's actually all natural ingredients and you can read uh, the herbs that are used over there and obviously they just put a name that is special for this but, you know, their herbs have multifunction things and I love them so much and they helped me so much since 2015 so I can't say bad things about it. Um, then I continue with vlog Vlogmas. Uh, during the Vlogmas, like I said, I was walking and I was opening some um, uh, some advent calendars. So that was fun. I exchanged an uh, advent calendar with a viewer and a friend. Hi, Diane, who spoiled me rotten. So I'm thinking, should I be doing that next year? Because then, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for all your gifts. I'm using them. And uh, I share bits, small things with my niece because she loved them. So I hope you don't mind, especially those funny faces. And yeah, so if you're interested in what I received, you can check it out. I was opening and uh, the, the brilliant thing was that I also got out of the counter with minis and I was dreaming to get minis because I have never had a stash with minis. I wanted to knit a hat, I knitted a hat. Um, so maybe that in a while because I haven't finished. So I'll show you once I tell you more about it. Uh, I hope you're still with me. <laughs> So yeah, that was fun. What we, as we we live in the different time zones, so we found the time that we could actually do it together. And it wasn't like a Skype version, it was more like a story, like PM, private messages things. We're recording uh, 11 seconds off because that was the time limit, you know, for Instagram. That's why you could see it vertical and there was a split and I'm like, I don't have a time saying to you in a sec. Um, so it was so much fun and uh, I loved it because uh, one thing I know that I am from the person who just comment under my video to gradually going into Instagram, gradually sending me photos and gradually breaking and uh, recording videos and then having fun and dancing. It was hilarious. I loved it so much. Um, so yeah, it's an amazing thing that I could have a connection with a person that I've never physically met. Right. <laughs> okay, so we have Vlogmas and then I got information from Wool and the gang who I would want to um, review their socks. And I did unboxing what they have and I record stuff over there. Obviously that is like a first thing opening and you don't have a clear thought about things so you can check it out what it's inside it. I, I, you know, they haven't included that it includes needles but it actually includes needles. It says only uses on the box so I will mention that during my review. <laughs> Right, so I love it so much. Uh, it is like when you're receiving it, it's just like wow. It's a wow thing, yeah. What I can say. And then we have more vlogmas, and then we have unboxings from Knit Crate. And in Knit Crate, that was a membership uh, Knit Crate, and I got received a bulky yarn. And I did some vlogmas again, and I did knit that hat because that was my idea to knit, um, use that yarn from Knit Crate and the pattern and knit it on my Christmas day. Christmas Eve, I told you, was the uh, case pattern. And then eventually I posted my first finished object video, uh, which was Yule Book Mittens by Skin Deer Knits and uh, Designs. And I used my new camera that I'm using now. That was my actual um, present, but I just put my box I just put the box in the wrapping, but the camera, I was just in camera. <laughs> Cheating, but I couldn't wait. So yeah, so uh, I love the effect. I love the camera itself. It's a Canon G, it's a Canon G7X Mark II. 
and I can flip the thing, I can see myself, and you have nice, that blurry effect uh, if you're interested. And I do not use any, I don't have to, it looks that I don't have to use any external microphones, so I love it too. Next. We have Vlogmas, and then we have another finished object, which is this one, Tempest hat, uh, which I knitted. Well, I started knitting in on the Christmas day, and I haven't finished it because we were visiting, we're going somewhere, and you know the thing, right? Uh, you know the drill. Um, but I finished it eventually, and I was able to record and show it to you. So that's that. I love it so much. I use it for my walks. Although in Ireland, it's not that cold. So we shall see how often I'm going to use it. It is a bulky yarn, but it has kind of breathing through <laughs> sections uh, so I don't say no to it it will be mine and I will use it and I'll be happy with it although if I get any other book here I may need it for someone else <laughs> and that's it we finished with the vlog and I during that time as I said to you and I was showing maybe uh, I was knitting my full of minis hat which is this one and this is advent calendar minis this is Advent Calendar Minis uh, by Dreams in Fiber. I received the, the yarn is dyed, but I haven't received it from them. Uh, actually, the package was a gift. I hope you understand that. <laughs> so this is this is a pattern. I'm going to write it down. Uh, I wrote down on Instagram. I got a few replies. I haven't replied yet, sorry, uh, to people who would want to test knit it. So if you want to test knit it, let me know. Uh, you don't have to have it so colorful. Uh, I was thinking to actually use maybe two, three colors or even four, like have a section with two colors, another section of another two colors. It, it's good. And with those uh, things, I was so happy because um, it was so easy to kind of do those sections because of the contrast between one yarn and another yarn. I may have only in this section some, you know, which stitch I should take. <laughs> situation but other than that it was quite nice everything it's thought through over here check the colors i can take those two and knit something with it i can take those two and knit something with it i can take those two and knit something with it <laughs> basically i love them all i even uh, even the the dyer asked me which was my favorite and it's so hard i love tunnels but then i was thinking like if i save tunnels i will just you know i will just say bad stuff about others and i can't do that yeah they're really nice i it was so much fun i thought well the, the whole thing will be related to teas because it started with sage and like el grey or something and um uh, and chamomile i know i remember those three here and no worries I'm, I'm trying i will go and do a finished object video when i will just basically point it out the colors and write down on the screen the names of them but if you're interested and just go through my vlog mess, you will see exactly what I'm pulling out. They may not be such a nice quality of the colors that you can see now. Uh, and with the leftovers, I made the pom-pom. So cool. Maybe you want me to wear it. So here how it looks. I think it's cool. It's a little bit, you know. So if you don't feel good with like big hats, um, may not be for you. But it's so warm. Uh, it is used a finger wing weight uh, yarns, 24 5 gram minis. Uh, it is merino, this one, so it wasn't even a sock uh, blend, you know, there's no nylon in it, so I'm so, you know, I'm even more thrilled about that because it was just perfect for a hat. Um, what else? Um, yeah, anyway, I'll tell you more about it in my finished object video. I'm going to write a pattern, it's going to be paid for pattern, and uh, I hope I'm going to do the same thing next year in December. Walks for 30 minutes every day and get some uh, minis for a hat. More with natural colors, I think I would love, but I want a contrast. I finish a hat. Okay, the next thing I finished, I'm going to, like, already tested to check my pattern, so I'm going to put it on Reverly. I meant to do it yesterday, I meant to do it today, but I'm recording now, and the time is ticking, and I have to do all this stuff, uh, like, go to work. <laughs> but I finished my just knit hat, because you just use a knit stitch to do this, and... By writing the pattern, I was so... Like, I wanted to write down only one thing, and that would be it. But when I started knitting more hats, I was just playing with it. So it's such an easy pattern. It's a free pattern. I hope... Well, I've recorded a tutorial. I haven't edited it yet, so I'm not sure is it good or is it bad. And uh, whatever it will be, I'm going to put it up. I Basically, while I was doing it, I was correcting my pattern. <laughs> Can you believe it? Be laugh. Uh, and meant to be for a beginner, so... 
you're like beginner beginner um so yeah so this is one and like we have another one so i didn't more slouchy that's what i'm going to tell you this will be like a one size this is more slouchier size well i call it a beanie size this is slouchy size and then i'm calling a loose where's my loose one where's my oh yeah adam and adam is wearing and adam is wearing a loose size so loose size which kind of the same although i have more rows over here i think three more um so yeah very simple very easy we shall see <laughs> what the beginners are going to tell me i actually knitted the cream one and probably i have a photo over here but i organized a raffle at work and someone won it and gave it to someone else uh so yeah and someone looks very cute in it let's say it that way so i'm so happy about it <laughs> Right, what else I finished? I finished socks and I'm going to record a finished object video with a review about these. So, uh, 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 this is Wool and the Gang yarn. Okay, I won't be telling you more because at times it's just ticking so much, it's probably be like an hour or something, a video. So I really apologize about that. Let's leave it like that. I think that's all anyway I finished. And what else I have? I have that sweater thing. Should I say it now or should I record a completely separate video? Mm, I prepared it. Oh, let's go with a completely separate video, okay? Be short one. I hope you forgive me that. New Year resolutions. My husband got an app. It's called Storytale. And he's just doing his work because he's a painter. <laughs> he can listen. And he started listening one book, two books, three books. And lately he's just 25 books per month, I would say. <laughs> and, um, and he gave me this. <laughs> A black page and it says goals for 2018 and he asked me to fill it in my husband wasn't like that I was like that at the beginning of our marriage we have been married for 11 years and if anyone knows me before I went to Ireland I was kind of a different person I was quite OCD very organized when well, I'm still I am but Ireland kind of taught me to chill out yeah to chill out a bit <laughs> so I have a few things in mind that um, I don't take so seriously, I mean, because I finished education and with education, you know, you have those tests and stuff you have to do. So you have to be very um, focused and dedicated to things. Uh, when you're an adult, you can kind of move things over. I can do it today, I can do it tomorrow. Some things you have to do it straight away. Um, but those things that you can, you know, like wash dishes, should I do it today or tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> So anyway, my husband got a little bit of woohoo, uh, so yeah, so he asked me to fill these things and I was thinking about it, you know, like I'm open for anything and I was filling them in, like randomly first and I was thinking there should be a system. So I'm going, uh, well, I'm, I, I, uh, 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 you know, there, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I come up, well, what I did, I basically go Google and I read somewhere about like five jars in your life, about your areas in your life. I had such a, I had such a logy. I finished PE, so basically it means physical education. I'm qualified PE teacher. Have you know stuff about me? Yeah, I do not teach uh, at school, but I work in the leisure center, a huge leisure center in university. Um, so I have a contact with everything that I've learned. So I'm happy about that. So anyway, I read during my studies about um, certain things in life and we have let's say eight things. And maybe on the screen I'm going to put it for you in case you would want to do something like that. You know, it's quite interesting that you can note that you fill some jars more than the others. So let's go one, environment and the place that you live in, let's call it the home. What would you want to change in your home that you will feel better? Or environment, so um, it could be something simple, like you want to paint a kitchen. You want to paint a kitchen and it'll be like something new, something positive, something a step forward change the position of your bed in your room change the furniture around the room it will feel better definitely because you will kind of clean things up anyway too at the same time move on because it's not a video about that two it's career and work are you happy about it would you want to change anything about it uh, what would you want to basically always we want to we want to say those two things so i change it or <laughs> do something but can you do something that your life at work will be better think about that um Three, financial. 
financial well financial is you know your budget your home budget your things that you want to spend money for something to do this year i know you may have like holiday trips and stuff like that big dreams but do you actually have money for it and uh, if you don't like whatever you have or you will be able to gain what you can get you know you could go outside and go for your holidays the question is would you want to spend time in five stars hotel one star hotel or hotel or B&B or hostel or a camping site. Uh, as you may notice on this channel, we go camping site or fancy hostels. <laughs> Once or twice we go, we're gifted to visit hot hotels and we're happy about it. I think it's a brilliant idea and especially some website gives you some discounts that during the week you can kind of sneak in and go somewhere. Although in my holidays and stuff, you know, I'm kind of chopped off. I can't just basically, oh yeah, I can go. I'm going now. Um, so that's a little bit thing that you need to take for frustration too. Number four is your help. And this is the main one, I would say probably number one. And especially when you notice in your life that something has changed and you need to kind of focus in that area more. You, you kind of omit it, uh, you put it on the side if everything is fine because it does not concern you. <laughs> but it may concern you, you're just not aware of it. So go check doctors, uh, don't have a chat with them, just basically do tests. Test will tell you how good you feel. Blood test, you know, blood works the way that um, it has to be in balance all the time. Um, if it's not in balance, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in big trouble because uh, your blood will do everything to get into balance. So basically, let's say you have acidic, uh, going through acidic situation in your blood, it will take calcium. So building calcium in your veins will can blade the clutter in your veins and that will, you know, we can go more. Leave it. So health, check what you're eating, what you're doing. You know, that are you walking at all? Like 30 minutes, every doctor will tell you 30 minutes every day is healthy for you. And this is like a minimum that I'm trying to achieve with my walks. That's why I'm so happy for Dan doing something like this with his challenge. And I'm adding my one with a knitwear hat that I'm actually taking my knitting things because we know, I know I hear that people are knitting stuff and they're just putting them, like they're enjoying knitting them. They're enjoying taking photos. But at the end of the day, they're putting in the drawer and they don't do anything with it. And in my vlogmas, you can notice that I'm just uh, a lovely <laughs> dressed in a walking gear with lovely vest that everyone can see me like you know lime color and then I have a fancy a snow melt shawl on, a shawl on me like who cares I enjoy it and you should too um five then we're talking about family and friends and by family, I'm not talking about your spouse or your uh, significant other. I'm just talking about if you have kids, if you have relatives, if you have father, mother, someone that you love and you want to spend time with them or do you want to kind of uh, put some kind of spots that, yes, you're thinking about them. So I'm, I tried to do that in 2018 with very, very far friends too. Uh, even though I haven't read them, I just kind of, you know, so I think that's happy too. Six, romance and that significant other, which is very hard for me actually to come up with anything. Uh, let's be honest. Well, I'll think about that area. But what would you want to do? Like to spice things up a bit. Well, okay, 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 okay. I know some of my friends now, they're like, I'll give you a list. Anyway, move on. Just write it down. I'm interested. Uh, now, seven, personal growth. What would you want to do to feel that you're moving? And it could be knitting, it could be new skills. Like I, for instance, I have written down, I want to knit with the yarn that I've never knitted before. And that's a speckle yarn. I, I don't own a speckle yarn. So this is something in 2018 that I want to do. Just want to, I don't know, a speckled heart. <laughs> Not speckled, you know this, Stelina, that I'm talking about. Or knit something like, I've never knitted a sweater, I've knitted, never knitted a hat with minis, uh, anything, something small and tiny things that are reachable for you that you've never done before. Eight, fun. I think that's the, the longest things we can get, right? Fun and leisure, which means leisures and hobbies. And you know, hobbies could be knitting too. So I hope that's it. I hope to do a sweater video soon. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I was rambling and rumbling and stuff like that, but I haven't seen you for a while that I could actually sit and have a chat with you. Leave a comment down below. Follow me if you want to. And I hope to see you in the next one. Hashtag knitting I love. Show me what you're knitting. Bye.